Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ernest West Ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, this is Brother West uh, coming to you again. I want to talk about a trickster. I want to talk about a play with words, semantics, a, um, a, a snake spirit charm. One of the definitions of charm is a whistle in a pipe. Charm is something that's drawing, alluring, is an aroma through music. Just like when a snake is about to bite you, that snake has a hiss, and that hiss is an aroma. There's a sound that comes with that that hiss that lets you know that you're about to be bit. And so oftentimes, when naturally so, when someone is injecting something negative into you who has evil intentions, uh, they speak from two tongues. Two tongues, two sounds. And... One of the definitions of charm also is a whistle in a pipe. And a whistle in a pipe is used to, a, whistle, a pipe is used to train dogs, to train some things with, with athletics and whatnot, where you blow the whistle, you stop, you blow the whistle, you listen, you blow the whistle, you talk. All of that is a certain type of control from the sound. And so that's what the enemy words does. It, it's a trap. It, it makes you, it, it, it loads you, it, it, it puts you in a spell. And when you're in that spell, you're you're just confused. And see, the, op the enemy is the author of confusion. See, also with the enemy, and one of the things that he does, that he uses, that he, he plants in you, he plants confusion. See, when you listen to the enemy, he's going to plant two things. This is where you have the double tongue. He'll plant the seed, but also he'll plant the understanding. So in other words, he'll plant, he'll plant something in your head that's negative, but also he'll be talking to you along the way what it means. And so, see, the enemy, you have to be careful to even listen. Don't even listen to the enemy because he's slick with words. And so, um, this is the thing that we must be careful of is words because words are seeds. Hope this makes sense. So be careful. Don't be tricked. In the mighty name of Jesus.